Hello, my name is Dr. Kenneth Packman. I'm a general dentist in Hatboro, Pennsylvania. I'd like to talk to you today about one of the more frequently asked questions that I have for my patients that you may have wanted to ask your dentist. And that is the question of the controversy that we see in dentistry now of silver amalgam fillings versus white or composite fillings. This controversy has been going around for quite a while. Um, there have been some fears uh, in some of the uh, publications about the mercury that's actually contained in the silver amalgam fillings and whether or not this can have a deleterious effect to the patient's general health. It's my belief that it does not. I've been using and placing silver amalgam fillings for over 30 years, as have 90% of the practitioners in the United States. Um, and we have seen no untoward uh, effects of the silver amalgam. Possibly one of the reasons is because the mercury in the silver amalgam is bound up into those molecules, it actually becomes a different substance than just silver and mercury. Uh, the American Dental Association and the uh, FDA, also uh, the National Institutes of Health, have put out very extensive studies on the safety and efficacy of silver amalgam. So I think that uh, as a general rule, we can say that most of the authorities that we have that test different materials and substances and uh, medications have sort of said that they feel that silver amalgam is a safe substance. Why then go to another substance that may be more expensive? Uh, with today's aesthetics, patients are looking for things that look good in their mouth and also function very well. Uh, over the years, uh, composite restorations, or as many patients talk them, uh, white restorations have become much, much more popular. And in fact, there's a demand by the public to have these restorations placed. If placed properly, they are as good a restoration as a silver amalgam. The problem is that caveat placed properly. Uh, composite restorations are very technique sensitive in their placement. So that if the dentist is, you know, dotting all his I's and, and crossing his T's in the placement of these restorations, they can be very, very high quality restorations. From a standpoint of economy and efficacy and longevity, a properly placed silver filling is probably still the way to go. Uh, we can also throw into the mix gold restorations, which are done by a dental laboratory, which are also a fine restoration, particularly for the posterior of the mouth. The other thing I'd like to say is that, of course, in the front portion of our mouths, we only use the composite restorations for strictly aesthetic reasons. So I believe that both restorations have their place in our armamentarium of things that we can do to help people and cure their dental disease. If you have any questions about silver amalgams versus composite restorations, please feel free to ask your uh, general dentist, uh, or if you'd like to contact me, please contact my website or the phone number listed below. Thank you and take care.